my ramen with. Don't worry, Leo. Hi, my name is Gloria Johnson, and today I am going to demonstrate how to use chopsticks. First, I will go over the materials needed. Second, I will demonstrate how to use chopsticks. And finally, I will explain why knowing this skill is very important. I was motivated to use chopsticks about five years ago when I was over at my Chinese friend's house. We were eating ramen, but of course, she was using chopsticks while I was stuck at the fork. So we made a bet. She bet that I could never learn how to use chopsticks, but obviously I proved her wrong. Not only was I successful in learning how to use chopsticks, I mastered it in a matter of minutes. So let's get started. Materials include chopsticks, your hands, sushi, or some kind of food you can practice picking up, and of course, patience. So the first step is the audience may use your, your pens for this demonstration. First step is to hold out your dominant hand as if you're going to give someone a handshake. Next, you're going to take one chopstick or your pen and take the thick end and place it between the webbed area of your pointer finger and your thumb. Make sure it goes in a horizontal line so that only about one inch of the end sticks out. Next, you're going to bend your ring finger and your pinky finger and tuck it underneath to let your chopstick rest on your ring finger. Now, notice that your top joint of your thumb, your pointer finger, and your middle finger are free to move. This is so that you can maneuver the second chopstick. So take the second chopstick and hold it as if it was a pencil between your pointer finger and your middle finger, and make sure the ends line up. Now, the correct way to use chopsticks is to only move the top chopstick like this. So, if I was going to pick up my sushi, I would move my top chopstick to pick it up. There are also a few table manners that come with using chopsticks. First, never use your chopstick to point at someone. This is considered very rude. Even if you're trying to point out to your friends that very attractive person across the room, you should not use your chopsticks to point at them. Second, you should not make noise with your chopsticks like this. It's considered very rude. Knowing the skill of using chopsticks is very important in gaining the whole Asian cuisine experience. Also, you do not want to be that one outsider at the Chinese restaurant using a fork or spoon. I remember I was in Japan a few years ago I was eating with chopsticks, and this Japanese lady, she came up to me and said that I have suburashi hashinoi sukiru, meaning mad chopstick skills. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I went over the materials needed to use chopsticks, demonstrated how to use chopsticks, and explained the importance of knowing this skill. Knowing this skill shows, that, shows others your interest in cultural taste and open-mindedness to try new things. Thank you for your time.